am really glad you guys can only see from my camera because I have not had a chance to clean my room. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. So yes, the rumors are true. I have brought a new member into my family. It was completely unplanned <laughs> and a little overwhelming, but um, I think this is a really big time in my life. So I'm excited to see what comes of this and how I'll learn some responsibility. Yeah. Wait, what were you guys thinking I was talking about? Oh, I wasn't specific enough, was I? And probably out of context, it sounds very scandalous. People, who do you, what? Who do you think I am? Okay, look, just cause my milkshake brings other boys to the yard don't mean I'm gonna let them have a taste. I'm talking about my new fish. Ta-da. Meet Gene Wilder. GW, for short. Isn't it cute? Blop, 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 blop. And he's got this nice glass bowl, so you know, if he wants to view paradise, he can simply look around and view it. You're actually getting really heavy, so I'm gonna put you down. I mean, you're not like fat. Please don't be mad at me. I'm sorry about the noise. I had to turn his filter back on because he poops a lot. We're working on that. For those of you that know me or have seen my wisdom teeth video, you know that I have always wanted a fish. Because I like the idea of human names for pets like uh, Paul Anka from Gilmore Girls. Just genius. It all started on a wonderful day in May. I walked onto set of the feature I was filming, Tournament, which is based in a card slash game shop, and so the production designer thought that, you know, they may have a store pet. So he got a fish for the movie. I was so excited, but nobody wanted to name him. They were like, he's a bra. I said, I do. So I named him Perkins. He was there every day I came to set. So I asked the production designer, Jamarius, what's gonna happen to Perkins after this? And he was like, I don't know. And I said, can I take it home, please? Guys, I got to take it home. So I took a picture of him and went to the store the next day and said, look, I've got an interesting situation. I've got this fish, but I don't know what kind it is, and I need you to tell me what I need to do and buy and get and stuff. They took one look at Perkins and said, oh, that's a king cichlid. It's gonna get to about this big and you're gonna need a giant tank. I said, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. So I offered to donate Perkins to the aquarium store, but I was not about to leave without a pet. So naturally I bought one, this one. I got a bowl, some, a filter, some gravel, some decor, a plant, le plastique. But let me tell you, I thought this was going to be easy. Boy, was I wrong. Like I said, I had to give them this filter, which I didn't think was gonna be this loud, and it has to be on 24 seven. I was afraid I wasn't gonna get any sleep. And he's starting to get sick. He has all this like black dust on him and his fins are starting to get grainy. I'm like, I just bought this fish a week ago. So I went back to the aquarium place and they got me like fish probiotics and aquarium salt for healing and drops. I'm like, dude, maintenance on this thing. I feel really bad for him. We're gonna pull through, right? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. I love to swimming when you... You have to take the harmony. Not right now? Okay. And just when I thought that wasn't enough, I had to clean the bowl. Not just clean the bowl. Clean the bowl with a siphon. I can't even tell you how my first experience of cleaning his bowl went down. I have to show you. So if you guys feel bad for me after watching this, if you could give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. It 
it was disgusting. So obviously I had to figure out a faster technique. Even though all this has happened and I was hit with a lot of things I didn't know I would have to deal with, I've learned to look on the bright side. Sleeping isn't really that bad. This filter makes it sound like it's raining outside, which it never does here, but I always sleep better when it rains. It's a lot more relaxing. I've been reminded that if I get knocked down, and I just get right back up again. Pushes me to work hard for something I care about. And GW's life is in my hands, so it gives me a lot of responsibility, keeps me accountable, and makes me feel important. Really, it's just taught me to be more patient, which we all know we all need sometimes. The best part is, I get a new friend out of it. I can trust him. He's very upfront and will tell me exactly what he's thinking. Okay, what do you think? Huh? No? Okay. So I got them out of the dirty clothes. You can wear jeans for a couple days before washing them, right? Like, that's a thing. It's too casual. Okay, okay, jeez. And he's really good at hide and seek. I don't know if he just enjoys playing or if he's a little scared of me. And he's just easy to be around. You know, he gets along with everyone. I don't have any kings. Go fish. <clears throat> No, seriously, go. With friends like these, who needs anemones? Tell me which one is your favorite Chocolate Factory movie? Willy Wonka, starring Gene Wilder, or the Tim Burton one, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Mwah. Much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next week with another weekly dose of random. Go fish. Go fish. Go fish.